Pit Wurta, thank you very much. A uh, yard that's flying at the moment. We really appreciate your time for Perfectly Placed. We're going to chat about your runners on Saturday, the 26th of October. You start in race three. It's over 12.50 pit. You've got number eight, King Viserys. Uh, Richard Ferry gets the ride. Consistent gelding. Um, Richard's probably going to have to work some magic from that draw, but he must have a chance. Uh, look, uh, this horse has been a, a little bit of a frustration for me because uh, on, on, on work, he should be a three-time winner already, but he, he's just a... It's just a horse that just doesn't really want to put it in the early parts of the race and then come the last 300 meters, he decides it's race time, but you know, the race is pretty much done by that stage. So, look, he's a, I think he's a massive runner. Um, it's just very hard to have confidence with a, with a horse like him. If he puts it in on the day, um, I, I think he'll be very hard to beat in, in this race. I'm hoping for the best. I'm just hoping that we, we, we got him right on the, on the day. Look, I, I think we have got him right. He's looking very good and he's working very well. I just, I just hope that he puts it in on the day. If he does, he's a big runner. All right, then we go to race number five over 1,600 meters. So you've got two runners. Let's start with number two, PJ, the ride of Keenan Stain. 70 day rest. I'm sure you're just hoping for some improvement. Yeah, yeah this horse is also becoming a little bit frustrating for me. Um, He's a, he's a big baby and he's just taking forever to, to mature. So, you know, we gave him a little bit of time off and, um, you know, hoping that he, the, the penny will drop and he would learn what to do, but um, it, it, it hasn't come yet. Um, he's a very nice actioned horse and moves very well and does his work all, all nicely, but all over the show, the ears are still over the show and it's like he doesn't really know what he's doing. So uh, he, he's definitely improved in, in work and I'm, I'm hoping that we can see that improvement on on the, on the track, but um, I, I don't, don't have a lot of confidence. Then you backed up with number eight in the same race, uh, God and Son, the ride of Gareth Wright. Uh, I thought a better run last time out. On his best form, got a quartet chance. Yeah, um, the, he's another horse which I think, um, you know, mentally he's, he's a lot stronger than PJ, but um, uh, uh, physically he's, he's, he's not quite. Um, I, I think he's, he's one of those horses that's just going to need a lot of time to, to, um, to get to his best. But um, I, I was very, very encouraged with his, with his last run. Um, that pretty much was going to be his, uh, his last run last time. You know, if he couldn't show us anything, then I was going to suggest that we, we, we call it today with him. Um, and he ran a cracker. So I, I'm, I'm hoping that he can do the same thing again. Then we go to race number six over 2,000 meters. You've got number eight, Baton Rouge. Keenan Stain gets the ride. I think he's a lot better than what we're seeing on paper of recent uh, form, Pitts. I know it's a tough field. On his best form, has he got a chance? I, I do think so. Um, he's he's a, a, a horse that I quite liked when he, when he first came to the yard and he started off very well, but that was in, in the summer. Um, winter time, he's, he's, he's struggled. You know, he hasn't got the nicest of feet and I think he's just struggled through the, through the winter. Um, his last run um, was on the firm going and I, I expect him to do a little bit better than what he did. Um, so I'm hoping that, that this time around he, he can. Um, he's working fantastic. I, I think out of everything in the yard at the moment, he's probably putting up the best work at the moment. So um, really excited uh, about his work and I, I hope that we see his best, uh, best run again. I, I do think that we will. I think we'll see his best, best foot forward on, on Saturday. Okay, lovely. Then you go to race number nine over 1250. You've got number 10, Lady Lacewing, also the ride of Keenan Stain. Uh, she'll probably need to improve, but uh, great to be having a runner for the social squad syndicate. Yeah, excited about that. Um, look, this, this filly's not ready. I, I, I can tell you she's not ready yet. And um, you know, we, we're just going to have to um, help her through the race and, and try and get her to just finish her race off very well. But um, she, she's not quite ready yet. So if, 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 she had to, if she had to be in the winner's box, I'll be very surprised. Um, I, we're just hoping that she can run a, a decent race. You know, if she can be back end of quartets, that'll be fantastic. Um, I think we got her ride her accordingly. Um, you know, just so that she can finish the race and if, if she does that, um, be best possible for us is, is back end of quartet. Fantastic. And then the last of your runners comes up in race 10, Pitts over 12.50. Uh, arguably, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong, maybe your better runner on the day is number eight, Now the boss. Louis Mkotwa gets the run. Consistent filly. I think she's got to have a good each way chance. Um, look, I, 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 I am expecting her to win. Um, she, she's been very honest. Uh, I think that's what, what separates her and King Viserys. Um, I think King Viserys should be our best runner on the day, but he's just not a, a, a true honest horse where, where she has been. Uh, she's working very well and, and she's, she's a very honest filly. So 
Unfortunately, she's drawn a little bit wide. Um, Louis going to need a bit of, bit of luck from, from that draw, but if, if, if it all works out well, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that we can end the day off on a high. Well, the yard's flying, Pet. Thank you very much uh, for your time. By popular demand, uh, the punters have wanted you back on the show. And again, just from my side and uh, everybody in racing, keep up the good work and all the best for the season ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you.